Hi guys, welcome back to the Funky Evolution Party. I'm Alice Green. Um, and since it's Sunday, I thought I'd get all spiritual with you guys. Now, you know, I keep talking about how easy it is for us to come together. United we stand, divided we fall. We are at such a pivotal point in human history where our governments are collapsing due to corruption. You know, just wild parties. Like, you, what's driving me crazy is you've got Novak, this poor, amazing tennis player who is getting treated like a criminal and booted out of one country while leaders of another country are literally snorting. They're boozing it up, having parties and like lying. And we wonder why our societies are collapsing. These are our leaders. This is who we follow. So of course we're lying to each other. Of course we're robbing each other. Of course we're in shambles. Um, let's just say I'm happy to be in the UK right now and not another country because at least this dictatorship is having fun where all the rest are just like, like seriously, we need to come together and I'm going to play you guys. <laughs> now, you will wonder where I got like the spin on poetry and where I look at how we need to come together as the alpha blocks because like I say our leadership is collapsing and it's up to us the alpha blocks to hold hands if we want to go to that magical land and we need to drop this ego this I am this and I am that we coming together individually like you know different letters create different things it's not it doesn't have to be just this one or that one um let me play it to you guys and then i'm gonna go into um a bit of research for you and then the plan so listen we can Now, literally, when you put the alphabet together, we can create spells or we can break the spells and different, you know, you flip things and it's, it's, it's literally, it's very magical. So, um, uh, long story short, I came across my Bible again because, you know, this whole plan is God's plan and it is my job to literally go, huh? Are you kidding? That doesn't make sense. Like what? But, but, but. So I've done a bit of digging um, and this passage particularly is in forward of the plan that I'm about to give you guys because it's very important that we understand we are just fools, you know, all of us. And no matter how much knowledge you think you have, unless it is alpha blocked together, with other people's knowledge you can't create anything that means anything you're just like i i i and that's great that you're an i but following on from that you could be so much more um anyway so this particular bit is uh aisha 4421 oh again 4, 420 keeps following me around but you can reference it yourselves um, and I'm reading down here somewhere. Uh, so I am starting with 25. I am frustrating the signs of the empty talkers and I am the one who makes diviners act like fools. The one confronting the wise men and turning their knowledge into foolishness. The one making the word of his servant come true and completely fulfilling the predictions of his messengers. So that's one part of it. And then the next bit that I liked, because this also relates to the alpha blocks and how we need to look at things. Um, and this is page 1003, number, duh, 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 number six. You have heard and seen all of this and you not to declare it. From now on, I am announcing new things to you, guarded secrets that you have not known. Only now are they being created and not long ago, things that you never heard before today so that you cannot say, look, I already know them. Uh, prisoners of society, because I'm a brat. 
and I know everything and I talk back. Uh, no, you have not heard and have not known and in the past your ears were not open. For I know that you are very treacherous and you have been called a transgressor from birth. But for the sake of my name, I will hold back my anger. For my own praise, I will restrain myself toward you and will not do away with you. Okay, so I leave you with that because we won't do away with anybody. We all have knowledge. It's all been taught wrong. So looking at the alpha blocks, looking at the knowledge that has been hidden from us, I believe in Nikolai Tesla, the golden triangle, the three, the six, and the nine. I believe using psychology, Dr. Jordan Peterson, biology, Dr. Bruce Lipton, and of course, a computer genius, Elon Musk. Put those three together in a room, dropping the ego, dropping the nonsense, and looking at how we can create an educational system that really turns the tides because let's go into a story I apparently have to find schools now long story short I'm actually currently co-chairing a community nursery and it's been a real eye-opener in education and Elon Musk feather in his cap for once is actually looking at a cyber school now I believe in forest schools. If you incorporated cyber school, forest school, and a way for children that, to learn that was encouraging, that allowed them virtual plus, you know, they got it all, the tech, they got the environment. We learned how to rebuild society, not by this metaphors where kids get lost and they are completely, like computer games, it's the cookie jar, you know, like it wasn't me, it was them. And why are we allowing our kids to shoot each other? Why aren't they looking at how they can, you know, I build everything in my head. So before I've built it, I've looked at what materials I need. I look at how, so you can do that on a computer. Okay, I've got these bits of plastic. Okay, oh, they don't melt together. Okay, they melt together. So when you're actually doing it in the physical world, it works. And encouraging this. Now... What I like about Dr. Jordan Peterson is he knows that these drugs that keep being given to us don't work. Dr. Bruce Lipton understands that the power of belief, you can change your biology so we can no longer be a sick nation. And then by making it fun, i.e. computer gaming, <laughs> and sorry, Mr. Musk, but when you Google monkey business, Elon Musk is the thing that comes up and it is literally monkey business. So looking uh, rather than psychology as a separate entity, biology as a separate entity, and gaming as a separate entity, why don't we put them together as an educational institution that allows rewilding of our cities, allows children to explore and no longer be alienated from their environments. Now, when we're looking at us adults, who it's actually very difficult to change the programming, if it was fun and interactive, rather than, I don't know, I don't play games, I don't, I don't understand, I malfunction any piece of technology I touch, which makes life very difficult for me to get my ideas out there, you know, um, but anyway, I do get my hands on little books, which means I can sit here and read you guys little inspirational passages, because when we break down our actual purpose on this earth it's not for I to be an individual entity it is for communities the I in communities to come together and to create something that's long-term and sustainable for our children like my children are either going to go to a tech school or an invite and, and it's like no why can't we actually bring that together and create a united force now we know enough about ourselves to find a way forward. So um, I leave you. This is the hymns, ancient and modern revised. Uh, and we're going to page 394, 501, which is nationals, if you can see it. Anyway, I'll flash the whole thing for you. And that's my referencing, so. Mm. Um, uh, oh God, the mighty works of old, our fathers of their sons have told. Be with us still from age to age, our children's children's heritage. 
thine are the kingdoms at the, thy feet, all peoples of the earth do meet in equal loneliness of prayer to find thy equal pity there. The strength made strong our father's hands at a people great on seas and lands to win till earth shall pass away, shall honour as the earths can pray, pay. Be with their children, give us grace to know not fear to hold their place, nor merely shrink, nor boast at ease, a people great on lands and seas. Keep thou, keep thou our boyhood free and fair, and quick to help and brave to dare. From greed and selfishness and shame, guard thou, O Lord, the English name. Keep thou our girlhood fair and free in marathon, love and modesty. From ugly thought and deed and word, guard thou our English homes, O Lord. O God, whose mighty works of old our fathers to their sons have told, be thou our strength from age to age, our children's children's heritage. <sighs> the knowledge is in our hands. We, the alpha blocks, need to come together drop our egos look at who our competitors are you know facebook is very controlled by one person if we come together united we stand divided we fall love is the answer to evolve us all and that is spiritually and scientifically so please alpha blocks join hands um and please like share subscribe and uh get the message out there cheers